Hey folks, I'm Brett Kinsella. I'm the founder of voicebot.ai and Synthedia. And one of the things that we do in this channel is we look at the new generative AI and synthetic media applications that are coming out and give you a quick rundown, let you see what we see and give you some background context as well as what the news is about it. All right, so first of all, we have the new iOS app. And I, I'm only gonna point out one thing in this OpenAI blog. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, it says, PS, Android users, you're next. So this is only for iOS today, but Android is coming, they promise. All right, so let's click through. And what you can see on the uh, in the App Store is Instant ans Answers, Tailored Device, Creative Inspiration. This is all the stuff that G GPT today is about. Nothing really new here. There's no ratings yet. That's going to change very quickly, I'm sure. Uh, 12 plus in terms of the user rating. And uh, it does have in-app purchases. So you can get you know spend $20 a month to get Chat GPT Plus if you don't already have it. Uh, now, I do have ChatGPT Plus, um, and so my splash screen might be different than yours if you're not a subscriber. Uh, if, you, if you are a ChatGPT Plus subscriber, uh, you have a selection of a model at the top. You can choose between uh, GPT-4 or GPT-3.5. If you're not a uh, subscriber, you only actually have access to the 3.5 model. Uh, the other thing you'll notice in the middle, this splash, splash screen where it says chat GPT, uh, that's a white circle there. Well, sometimes it's peach, sometimes it's magenta, sometimes it's green, sometimes it's orange, the little variety they have from a design standpoint. Every time you open it up, it's a little bit different. Uh, okay, so a couple other things about it. So in the upper right-hand corner, you've got the three dots. That's where you can see uh, your history, for example, I asked if the moon was made of cheese, colonial life in Philadelphia. I can look at that. I actually like the way they show the history here a little bit better. You can scroll through it. It's a little cramped on the sidebar on the desktop app, but uh, not the biggest deal there. Uh, you also have settings up there and you can create a new chat. Now, one of the features which is, which is different for uh, the mobile app is you can use a speech recognition. You can use a voice input and they're using the OpenAI's Whisper uh, speech recognition model. And uh, the app only supports English today, but that's going to change very quickly because the Whisper model actually uh, supports, I think, 99 languages right now. So for an input standpoint, that's going to be really cool. But let's just test it out. What album was Taylor Swift's Shake It Off song on? Okay, so I stop that. And it gives me the speech to text. So I can ch check that out before I hit enter, I hit enter. And it says that that was on the fifth album, 1989, released in 2014. So works very much, very similar. You can also type in um, uh, who won, I don't know if it'll do this, formula one in 2015. See if it, there's a typo in there too. Let's see if that goes through. 2015 Formula One championship was won by Lewis Hamilton. That, that is correct. So uh, that is something that you would think of as search, but obviously that happened before the, the training data cut off uh, for them. So that works as well. And the you can just go to a new chat and, uh, and get started again with chat GTP. Frankly, I, that's all there is to it. It's very similar to the desktop app. Uh, the voice recognition change is a little bit different. You can't actually select the other models. Uh, so at the top, I can select the 3.5 or the 4 model. If on the desktop, I can check the browsing model, and I can also check the plugins model, and I can use those. Right now, that's not enabled. It's not a feature of the iOS app. I assume that's coming. Uh, and that's it. I think you should go try it out and uh, check out Synthedia, uh, synthedia.substack.com.